Hi guys, welcome to my edition for the Fairy Realm Junk Journal Kit. This is a little pocket tuck spot foldy flappy lovely thing um, that I've made to go with this junk journal kit. Let's have a look at it. On the front uh, you've got this beautiful fairy image and this envelope type closure that tucks into this front pocket here. When we open that up, let's bring this down a little bit so you can see, there's a little tuck spot here for a journaling card. Everything's got writing space on the back. <laughs> I haven't rubbed out my little construction marks there, but that's easy enough to do. And then let's have a look at what we've got going on inside this gorgeous thing. We've got a front pocket with a little journaling card inside. And this will then fold down. I'll have to move it up so you can see this. This then unfolds to make a writing space. And that's got a pocket as well with another journaling card with writing space on the back. And then we have another pocket behind that with another journaling card with writing space, this beautiful little butterfly image here from this fairy realm theme. Fold those back up and our closure works just like that. It's very effective. And this whole structure also forms a pocket in its own right. And in that whole pocket, we've got two journaling cards or you can make three if you cut this one in half. <laughs> I've glued mine together. <laughs> so this one opens, so you've got a whole lovely big writing space in there. And then you've got a single journaling card as well. But you could have three individual journaling cards if you wanted. And you do get three of these in the kit to make that happen. So that's what that looks like. I'm really, really pleased with it. Carry on watching and we'll see how we put that together. So here are the three pages that you get with the kit. You also get another page to reverse print on the back of all those other three. I'm using 160 gram here, which is 59 pound cover stock. Uh, you could go heavier, but this piece here is going to fold. So I didn't want too much bulk uh, for that reason. And each uh, item, <laughs> each element has got uh, a number, a letter next to it. Um, and you can go ahead if you want to and just jot that down uh, in the white spaces or on the backs so that you know which pieces we're dealing with when we're going to put it together. But it's quite self-explanatory. There's not a great deal of number of pieces. So I'm going to go ahead, cut this out, ink it up, and then I'll come back and we'll assemble it. So my pieces are inked up. I've set some off to one side and we're going to be looking at pieces A, B, C, <laughs> D, E and F and I've written in pencil on the back and on some inconspicuous areas so I know which pieces I'm dealing with and any that show afterwards obviously I can rub those out. So I'm going to begin and I've already done this by folding this long sheet sheet B into three and I've allowed two and a quarter inches at the top just over two and a quarter inches actually just over two and a quarter inches at the bottom and creased both of those inwards like that and I just give these little edges a nice little bit of ink and this is going to form a little opening pocket come writing space in a moment before we do that we're going to stick on section C on top of section A these aren't all in um, logical order they are as near as possible but uh, as I'm designing them and thinking them through um, it doesn't quite work that way. So this is going to form a pocket on top of our back piece here, which is also going to form a pocket inside the journal. So I'll stick this over. And the reason I've left these white spaces is to save you ink where possible. It isn't always possible, like on this rear sheet here, you're going to lose all this lovely graph paper, but you know, I've saved it for you here. <laughs> So just pop that down centrally by eye, just gluing down those three sides. And then this sheet comes into play. Like I say, I've measured and scored and creased just over two, two and a quarter inches, just over two and a quarter inches, and then fold those in together. Now sheet B is going to go on top of this blank section C here. 
and I'm going to line this bottom edge up with the bottom edge of this. Now I can make a pocket out of this and I will do. Uh, let's get as many pockets in there as we can for the purposes of the video, uh, but you can uh, just stick this down if you want to. So lining up bottom and the sides with that pocket we've just stuck on, just stick that down like that. And this will then form a pocket in there. So we've got two pockets going on already. And then this piece folds down first and that piece folds over onto the top of it. And then we take, <laughs> that's not the right one, this is the right one, D, and that is going to form another pocket on the top here. But before we do that, we're going to want to assemble this front envelope flap. And to do that, I've got piece F and piece E. And I'm going to flip that one over and stick these together. Now, this has been designed so that it doesn't go right to the edge. It won't uh, it won't sit nicely. You've got a little a little border all the way around there. So just pop that on so you can see that it's all nice and even all the way around. And then we're just going to glue the reverse of these two shaped edges here, leaving this flat top open to form yet another pocket. We're all about the pockets, the tuck spots, the secret little hidey writing spaces with this project. Because if you can't have a secret in the fairy realm, quite frankly, where can you have it? So we stuck that on, just levelling it up by eye. And even though this is upside down, obviously when it opens, it's going to be the right way up. And we've got a little tuck spot there for a little journaling card. Now we can go ahead and glue this flap, which I've pre-creased and inked along that edge onto the top of this main pocket here. So I can open that up, pop a little bit of glue on the flap, stick it down in place. fold it over and then just line everything up nicely. And now I've done that, I can stick this pocket on. And the reason I needed to do this first was because this pocket is going to hold our envelope shut quite simply and quite cleverly like that. So I can make sure I've got all that nicely glued down and lined up, that's lovely. I can line up that pocket knowing that my little the point of this envelope closure here is going to tuck in. So again, just going over the three. Edges of section D. I'll just pop this on and I have designed it so that you've got an equal border or thereabouts going all the way around this sheet. So we'll pop that on and give that a moment to grab. And that is pretty much as simple as that is. And isn't it effective? So when we open it up, we've got a little tuck spot up here. I can go ahead and rub that little number letter out, obviously. A little tuck spot there. And we've got a pocket here. We've got a pocket here. And then we've got this writing space that folds out as well and we just pop the whole thing back together like that. Now this forms a page in your journal as well. Uh, let's have a look at the journal that I've got on the go at the moment. And I'm making this journal out of all the bits and bobs that I make the tutorials for. That looks like as good as page as any, so long as I've got it the right way up. And it all smells of coffee, because uh, it's all coffee dyed papers. So that's great, that can go in there. And what I will do is I will glue three sides of this down so that I've got another tuck spot under here. So let's go ahead and have a look at these other bits now. Section I is a little journaling card. H and there's another one here. Two H's 
go to make journaling cards that fit in these two pockets here. <laughs> you can put them both in one and of course you've got this little journaling space here as well which is a little stiff because it's new. Get in there, there we are. So those two fit in there, that's those taken care of. And then finally, we've got these bits and pieces here. These little journaling cards fit in this space here, but obviously you can use them where you want. So that's those taken care of. And finally, finally, we've got J and K, and I think these were G. I think they were G. <laughs> it's all you've got left anyway, so take your pick. Let's move you out of the way. Uh, so these are the journaling cards that are going to fit behind our main structure like this. So you, I think you need to decide really whether you're going to be on the left hand side or the right hand side because that will dictate where you put these tags if you choose to use these tags. And I think for the sake of the video I'm going to go this way round. And this page here, this is K. Um, is a double folding journal card um, but if you want to you can cut that down the middle and you can have three individual journaling cards of the same size and there are three of these in the kit if you want to do that you can do uh, and all we're going to do here is stick our beautiful little page tabs if you can hear something going on in the background, I've had a a young teen sleepover uh, last night and into today. Um, and amazingly, they've still got energy. They didn't go to sleep until four o'clock this morning and they were wide awake by nine o'clock. So my little girl has just turned 13, or sorry, is just turning 13 next week. And she's got all her pals around for a sleepover. Uh, right, so then I can stick this one on a little further down. Uh, here, I know it's all through as I go. Got glue on there, don't really often do that. There we go. And this can then either sit inside. <laughs> I did get messy with that one. I need a little glue on here as well. One of the things I love about this glue that I use as well, I'm always pushing this glue, it's called Kalal, and that when it dries, uh, I'm pushing it a bit here, but uh, it's working. When it dries, it rubs off just like an eraser rubs off, and it tends to leave my ink behind, which is a bonus. So there we go. There's my two journaling cards that are going to sit quite happily underneath this main pocket when I've glued it in my journal. And that's it. It is complete. Only one thing left to do, and that is stick it down in my journal. I think we'll go with this page seeing as I've decided I've got a Midori journal on the go here uh, and it's all a bit ramshackle at the moment but it'll sort itself out as we go. So I'm going to line this up by eye <laughs> as if it matters everything's all over the place and then I'm going to glue down um, three sides. making sure I'm gluing down the right three sides. I'll put a generous seam of glue on here so that I know it's going to be nice and secure. Glue this down into my journal. A lovely page it makes. And there I've got the <laughs> glue still wet obviously. I've got my tuck spot for these here. I'm going to give that just a moment to dry because that's the sensible thing to do. Mm -hmm. 